Hello everyone, welcome back. So till now we have understood various forms of normalization, that is normal forms, and the procedure to determine what is the higher normal form which a relation poses, right? Now it's time to compare these normal forms. So what is the basic differences between these normal forms? And before we go further to compare, first we have to understand that apart from this theoretical perspective, what is the normal form which we actually use in our databases, in our relational databases? When we design a database, what is the normal form which we use? So the answer is generally for a application, we use second normal form or third normal form. So why not BCNF and fourth and fifth normal forms? Because when we go for higher level normal forms, the number of tables which we have, that is, this is the entire data, right? And now when we go for normal forms, again higher level normal form, so number of table keep on increasing. Similarly, when we go again higher level, number of tables increases. So many tables. Now what happens when we have to retrieve data or you have to save data in this, these tables, the complexity increases because the data is distributed into multiple tables and now if we want to retrieve something, we have to perform multiple table joins and which reduces the performance of database drastically. That's why what we do, we keep our normal form in such a manner that both the things are balanced. One is redundancy, it is balanced and another one is the performance. Because nowadays performance matters more than the size of the database. Because the disk space is so cheap nowadays, we can get thousands, thousands of gigabytes for few thousand rupees, right? So it is very, very cheap right now. So we prefer performance over size. So size may be greater, it's affordable, but a system which is responding very slow is not affordable, right? That's why we keep it in second or third normal form. Fine. Now let's study few points. Where the first one is the elimination of redundancy due to FDs. So what are the normal forms which reduces, uh, which eliminates this redundancy due to FDs? So up to second NF, these redundancies are there due to FDs. Let's talk about third NF. So yes, third NF removes. Then BCNF, yes of course. And of course all higher levels remove. If some lower level uh, normal forms remove a particular redundancy or satisfies a particular criteria, all higher level will be satisfying. So lay 4NF, so 4NF is also eliminates redundancy due to functional dependencies. The next is elimination of redundancies due to multi-valued dependency. So multi-valued, if you remember, it is handled is in fourth normal form. So fourth normal form obviously will remove this redundancy, but the third normal form and BCNF will not remove this. So they will not remove this redundancy. Fine. Now let's come to another point. Functional dependency preservance. So which of the normal form after decomposition also functional dependency preserve? So third normal form will preserve. BCNF and fourth normal form not always. Okay. So rather than cross we should write not always. Always. Not always. Fine. Now we will see example that why BCNF cannot preserve functional dependency. Let's take a relation R of ABC where we have two functional dependency AB determines C and C determines B. Now the candidate key for this functional depend uh, for this relation will be AB and as B can be determined from C, so AC. Okay, so all are non all are uh, prime attribute here. There is no non-prime attribute. Now up to third NF it will satisfy but BCNF, let's check BCNF because C alone is not a key. So it is not in BCNF, right? 
Now, once we go for breaking this table, we cannot break it without losing a functional dependency because if you break it in AB or let's say, so in ABC you have six possibilities, right? So among all possibilities, let's take AC and BC. So if you break in AC and BC, this one functional dependency will be there like C determines B. But this functional dependency will be lost because in AC there is no B. So you cannot write AB determines AB determines C. This you cannot write. Okay. So here we have to lose a functional dependency. So functional dependency will be lost. That's why in BC and F we can lose functional dependency. It is not dependency preserving decomposition.